Sometimes when you're recording audio in untreated environments or very large environments like a concert hall or auditorium, the sound of the reverb in the room can actually get back into the recording and it can make things like dialogue very, very difficult to understand. And I've loaded a file with an example of this. This is a symposium on water rights. And both the presenters and the people asking questions from the audience were both being pumped through the PA. So the sound of that room got back into the microphones pretty effectively. And it's made the dialogue difficult to understand. Let's listen to it in its original form. Um, I, I don't know if I can tell you today exactly. Last <laughs> year. But, but it, it's really, it's one of those issues that... Um, so what we can do is with the D-Reverb module, which only comes in RX4 Advanced, we can go through and have it remove that boomy quality and make the dialogue sound a lot better. So let's go to the D-Reverb module, and I'm going to call up the default preset to start with. And then unlike the D-Noise module, you're not going to learn a section that represents the reverb. Instead, you're going to learn the entire audio file. So I'm going to make sure that I've got the entire file selected by doing a control or command A to make a selection around the beginning and ending of the entire file. Then I'm going to click the learn button and the D reverb module is going to go through and train itself to know what the reverb that's contained in that audio recording looks like. And now we can come down and listen to the results. So I'm going to come to the preview button and press that so that we can hear what the D reverb module has provided for us. Um. I, I don't know if I can tell you today exactly. Last <laughs> <it's laughs> but, but So if I hit the bypass button, we'll hear the original. One of those issues that uh, comes up and um, from, a, from a strictly theoretical perspective. So let's modify the settings a bit. I want to remove a little bit more of the reverb. So I'm going to come to the reduction slider and move that up to about 13 dB. Now let's listen to the before and the after. It, it's really... It's one of those issues that uh, comes up and um, from, a, from a strictly theoretical perspective. Yes. Now we can also enhance the dry signal a little bit to make that dry signal sound a little bit more up front. But, but it, it's really, it's one of those issues that uh, comes up and now you'll notice that the reduction slider actually goes in both directions. It can be used to reduce the amount of reverb or it can go in the opposite direction to increase the amount of reverb. So let's move that down and now let's preview the result. Um, I, I don't know if I can tell you today exactly. But it's, <laughs> but, but, but it, it's really... But of course in this case what we want to do is actually de-reverb the file. So I'm going to move that reduction control back up to about 13. Then I'm going to click the process button and what you'll see happening is the reverb signal has now been removed from the audio file. We're going to be able to hear the dialogue a lot better. Um, I, I don't know if I can tell you today exactly. <laughs> Last year. But, but it, it's really... It's one of those issues that... So when you're using the D-Reverb module, remember to always learn the entire audio file that you want to D-Reverb so that it tracks the reverb in the original audio file and therefore can remove it. And next, let's talk about the leveler.